we are seeing Olimar Palutena. And I think because this is quarters, it is still best of three. Yep, still best of three, just like the last match. All right. Finn's playing well, not immediately getting hit by those Pikmin is like very important. Very see, scary. Yeah. I think we can see Ken clearly is ready to pay the. Okay, you're right. Uh, uh, Nair does get the ball. Ken is ready to play and camp out if necessary, which I think is important in this matchup because you can't be running in without any thought against Olimar, otherwise, you're just going to eat like 60% without even like thinking about it. Oh yeah, Pikmin plus Olimar conversions is just crazy damage. Yeah, so I think only like the last hitbox of Nair looks like it would hit all for Pikmin. Yeah. Uh, Ken going for that edge guard, that which Nair was probably... It, it seems like Paulu Nair is going to be really good off stage, where Olimar's recovery does not have a hitbox, so... It might be a Different. little scary for Olimar to get back on the ledge. So that wrong direction, purple F smash from Azaz early on. And I didn't, playing very well here. I didn't think about it. Um, Spot dodge from Ken. But I think I think Astest here has two purples, which could be really scary for Ken. So Ooh, we're going to need to see catch. a stock like we just did. Early kill from Ken, that's always important. So Ken with a fairly large lead here. Uh, but we're going to see if he's going to be able to keep it. Olimar does still have a purple, so a stock might be taken very Mike early. has only really gotten two big hits in, like two combos, but those two combos have done around like 50% each, just from having the white Pikmin and hitting with the purple. Yeah. Which is those situations you always want to be really scared of it against Olimar. So Ken was doing a very good job, and still is doing a very good job, of avoiding those large damage strings, but I think yeah. Olimar is a bit of a kind of character where it'll wear you down a little got bit. Double purple out now too, which is very scary, just because it gives Olimar a lot of out of corner options with throwing the Pikmin. Oh yeah, but it, it has been two minutes and only one stock taken from each side here. So I'm wondering if Ken's gonna be able to keep up uh, playing this well and this composed in neutral to avoid all the Pikmin or if this will slowly get more and more uh, favored for Mike. I honestly don't know. I think it's just something we're gonna have to wait to see. Uh, yeah, Imagine the stocks are from, even though. The texts from getting hit by purple Pikmin are always really unexpected if you're not like paying absolute attention to the order. See, as is pretty much evened up the game very quickly. Yeah. What I was saying about how you can just eat a ton of damage against Olimar. Uh, still has double purple, so there's potential for a shield break with down smash. There's super early kill potential, maybe not this early, but a forward smash at ledge might do it here if it's purple. We've seen Mike also go for the uh, edge guards using purple to throw them off, just have a hitbox recovering. Oh yeah. Like a diagonal recovery angle, so it's forcing Ken to either recover high or recover low. Recovering low being very scary against all of them, so. But. Like, see where, where Ken can yeah. high. Oh, I don't know if Olimar has a lot to catch for cover high besides just a hard read up air. Probably just up air, but um, I think it will be a little a little scary for Ken at, at ledge because... Is the worst quarterfinal here supposed to be clipping like that? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's it's fine. Um, Ooh, that wow, down smash that catching. I did not think that down smash was going to hit. I was about to mention, Palu, uh has a very large window to hit her when she's grabbing ledge, so that might be good for for Mike to catch him at ledge. Yeah. Up smash, he'll take it. Uh, the second and Mike got double purple, just the sort of game entirely turned around where he was able to gain that momentum he needed. It's just crazy pressure. Yeah. Um, not much a lot of characters can do about it, so you really want to keep Olimar from getting them If in the you don't first have place. something that can just kill all the Pikmin really quickly, or just a big lingering hitbox, like strong lingering hitbox. I know, again, to talk about Link is like Link's F tail and up air can kill all the Pikmin basically instantly. So it's a very strong option just to have those big. Even if they're slow sword moves, it doesn't really matter against purple that much. So. And I, I don't think uh, Palutena has a lot of options to hit the Pikmin when they're following Olimar. So if Olimar's trying to run away or something, I'm thinking like her F tilt's not useful, her up tilt's not useful, jab isn't great. 
And down tilt is useful, but it's very slow um, on the ground, so it's not really much of a neutral tool. And I yeah. think Olimar will just be able to. Alternative just doesn't really have any grounded options against Olimar that can pick him off. So she sort of always has to be jumping, which exposes you to these strong combo strings. Oh yeah. That being said, though, I think Palutena can uh, pretty easily, or maybe not easily, but can cover anti-air situations pretty well with air being slightly disjointed, I think, and back air being fully invincible. Speaking of invincible, uh, Palu does have dash attack, and I don't know how useful that is here because I don't think it's I, safe. I, I think shield, dash attack. I think it's useful though if he's throwing a purple out. Just uh, the disjoint definitely hits with air. For sure, it could be a good. Uh, Big wings just got called, or is that that's Alligan? Yes, it is. This is this is huge. Uh, Big wings. Big wings. And you're fan. not even going duck. I'm not. Have you ever gone duck hunt ball and keys at bracket? Both of you. Yeah, I, I made sure that I I. I don't believe that for a second. Nice up there. there. Yeah, I duck hunt did it. Uh, court. Nice. There we go. Back air taking it. Um, very reminiscent of the last game where Ken got uh, an early lead. This time less of a lead, but still a lead. Uh, I think Ken was like Ken used to capitalize off those edge guards against Olimar a lot because that's where he's going to get most of his kills. Yeah, I think we saw the kill last game with a nair maybe uh, off stage. Uh, and this time was a back air. Sort of anything that can get Olimar off stage. Yeah, dash attacks putting in work, uh, catching uh, aerials while landing. Uh, Mike not having a uh, blue Pikmin or purple Pikmin to kill with up through there, so Ken does get uh, another chance to get some more extra credit. Mike already being at 60%, which was a larger lead than he had last game, I think. And we honestly might see a stop here if he plays the sledge game right. Uh, see that purple Pikmin Mike's throwing out there to cover those sort of at like predictable like the usual. Yeah. Ooh, wow, that was down really good smash. Pikmin. I like that a lot. That just that option really covers a lot as is Kazoo because I think he fared there and it still hit. So. Yeah, I, I think it was supposed to read an air dodge, but it would punished or outspaced maybe the. the no, I think it was air. just faster. It, it honestly just looked like it was faster. Uh, and I think it would cover, like, unless he, like, jumped away or something that would have So that was a really good option for Ken. Olimar advantage state, though, getting 53 in one conversion is kind of crazy. And that down smash with only one purple almost killed, so... Uh, F smash does, but purple F smash does so much. You're not even just send so far. Double Pikmin are out now. Uh, now we're going to see how much this changes things. This guy said double Pikmin. Double purple Pikmin. I still think it's so crazy that Jane is colorblind, and to learn how to be Almer, she just has to like memorize the order that Almer plays them out. Like that's so much effort to have to play against Almer. That's it. Explosive yeah. flame killing. Uh, I'm not sure if Whistle is able to armor through all of explosive flame or just parts of this, maybe. But I think I saw it uh, start to come out there. And... So game one is a two stock for Mike, and then game two is a two stock for Ken. So it's sort of can be really up in the air how these games go at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm predicting this game, we see a third party join in and take a two stock Ooh. on both of them. So, we're just gonna see how things go. Sticking with Palu Olimar, uh, I don't know if either player here has a strong secondary that they'd rather go in this matchup. So, I think Ken is surprising. I think Ken does have a Cloud, and Cloud is obviously Olimar's worst matchup by a lot, but I think Ken would just prefers the confidence he has in this matchup. Oh yeah. Because you don't really want to be bringing out like a, a rusty secondary in these situations. And why change characters if you just got a clean two stock yeah. game for game two, so. Also, I don't think Ken plays Cloud too, too much, so I don't think he's confident against Azdaz too. Probably has a ton of experience in that matchup just because of you know, it's like how you always have more experience in your bad matchup in in your bad matchups than in your winning matchups. Because you have to like you practice those and learn them because they're way harder. Uh, Ken starting to bring it back with this one advantage state, uh, and Mike is at ledge here. So not anymore. But I was gonna say maybe we might see uh, stock moving Ken, but Mike will be the one with the first stock. Uh, purple Mike. Pikmin Blacker. Back air, back air, back air. It'd be crazy. 
black air. I don't know. I. What other colors rhyme with the aerial things? The aerial short hands. I don't. I don't. I don't think anything rhymes with uh, forward. That's a color. Brown air. That's true. <laughs> I think that was a, a Liam yelling in the background. That was a Liam yelling. Liam playing MXC over there. MXC's random. A lot of randoms too. Explosive Flame not gonna kill there. Um, I think it was just the last, I think if there was like a bit more percent where he got hit by the like the part that brought him closer to the center, I think that could've killed. Yeah. Mike uh, doing a great job at avoiding that, that Nair that Ken tried to get. Um, and almost got a reversal there, because like I was saying, Palu uh, does kind of have a I large him. window to hit her, so it it could be, uh, like right there, that, that could lead to kills from Mike uh, for reversals, so. Kind of scary to go off and do this, but at this point, Ken needs the stock, uh, yeah. just like he got, so. Ken's not in a dangerous position where he's not going to be hitting Olimar as far away, which actually might be beneficial. Sort of like because Almar is like a character that has a lot of dangerous close range options, but also you don't want to get too far away from them, otherwise, they just start pulling Pikmin and throwing them at you. Yeah. But you've seen Ken is definitely able to bring this back. Uh, kind of unfortunately, I think that uh, that F tilt on platform I think was supposed to be a drop down forward air, which I think would have been safe on his shield, but he gets back aired with the punish. And coming back from uh, a deficit while Mike has double purple is pretty scary. Ken's also clearly been approaching a lot.